Oh wait, wrong game. Yo, what's up guys? <sighs> Welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna show you how to do the shake effect in Vegas Pro 15. Let's get right into the video, roll the intro. No, I'm kidding, I don't have an intro. Okay, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Okay, so I already made a video like this. However, I didn't use my voice and it didn't really make sense. So I'm gonna redo that video. So I'm gonna try to do the shake effect in Vegas Pro 15. And wait, wait for this, you need the Sapphire plugin. It is, um, let me think, how should I say this? $3,000. And if you don't have the Sapphire plugin, I will show you another way without the Sapphire plugin. La, 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 la. If you don't have the Sapphire plugin, I will show you another way without the Sapphire plugin. Okay, let's get on to the video again. Okay, so the first step, all you gotta do is cut all the parts where you wanna add the shake in. So let me do that right now. Okay, so I did it right now. I'm gonna add the scream, add uh, the shake in this and in this scene. So if you have the Sapphire plugin, all you gotta do is go to video effects and go to S shake right here and then drag it to the first scene you want to add it to so like this one and then you can edit it from here so and so if you want to animate it all you got to do is press this to animate so i'm going to animate it right now and then i'm going to uh i'm going to start at one amplitude and you i'm going to make it go to uh two amplitude when it goes to the end so like that so now, if I play this, it's gonna sound like this. We can jump. Okay, and in this part, I'm gonna zoom in to make it have like a breathing, um, a breathing effect. So I'm gonna do that right now. You, you, you don't really have to do this part. It's just optional. If you have like a screaming kid screaming in the screaming scream. Okay, <laughs> so let me do that right now. Okay, that was easy. So now if I replay the video, it's gonna look like this. We can jump. Okay, and in this part, I'm gonna add a maximum shake. So that means I'm gonna make it go from four amplitude all the way to five. So I'm gonna do this. Put this at four. And it's gonna go all the way to five. And after that, oh wait, what's happening? Okay, so now it's gonna look, it's gonna look like this. We can jump. Okay, so that's pretty much it if you have the Sapphire plugin. But if you don't, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Delete, yes. Okay, so if you don't have the Sapphire plugin, you're gonna do the same thing. Just cut out the parts where you wanna add the shake. So let me do that right now. Okay, so after that, um, you're gonna go to event, pan and crop, this one right here. And then, it's gonna take a lot of time and it's not gonna look very nice, but it's still gonna be a shake effect. So what you can do is you can zoom in and move it to a corner. And then you can, uh, after that you go forward one keyframe, you go down, then you go forward one keyframe, and then you can go up. Just, you can be creative with this, okay? So I'm gonna fast, oh, wait. I'm gonna fast forward this until I finish. So I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, so once you get lazy, what you can do is you can select the whole thing and then click Control C, or if you're in Mac, uh, you do Command C. So press Control C. And then go to the end and then click Command V or Control V. 
and just keep uh, pressing Control V until you finish the whole video. So let me do that right now. Um, okay, so I got really lazy, so I won't finish the rest, but you do get the point and once you finish the whole thing It's gonna look like this We can jump <laughs> So yeah, it's gonna be like a little shake effect um, Without the sapphire plugin, but it, it's more violent and it looks hilarious. Wait, let me replay that We can jump <laughs> Okay, so um, After that after you do finish this one, you can also do it to the rest that you did uh, so the rest of the parts he split to add the shake effect. I don't know if that makes sense, but I hope this video helped you a bit more than the last video because I'm actually talking now and I, I kind of explained it a bit better. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.